The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on ResCheck and Envisioneer and the integration between the two of them. Today, we're going to show you how we can take the information from an Envisioneer model and pass it over into ResCheck so you can see the complete use of a BIM model and taking the information away from it to use in further parts of your work. So let's get started in taking a look at the information that's inside the BIM model of Envisioneer and what's being passed out. So when we draw things in Envisioneer, they all have intelligence behind them. So if I take the look at a wall as an example, and I'm just going to grab a wall and look at its properties. Key parts of the information that we're going to pass over to ResCheck are found here under Properties. And by scrolling all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that we have energy information. And it's this energy information that we're going to be passing out to ResCheck. So you can see here we're going to include in calculations checked. Why do we have that? Why wouldn't I want to include a wall or an object to be included in the calculations? Well, if this is a remodel um, and you're just going to be doing the energy efficiency of the new addition, as an example, you could uncheck any existing wall. But don't include them in the calculations. It's just the new construction that we're worried about. And then we look at the wall type. We have normal, basement, and crawl space because ResCheck will look at those all differently. So any walls above grade, we're going to um, call as a normal wall. And then we look at their cavity R value. So this is where you would type in the insulation value, the R value that you're going to be putting into that wall. And then it will take that information and pass it out when we pass the walls out to ResCheck. And you can also, if this is a continuous R value, um, and not a cavity R value, you could include that as well. This is the information that ResCheck is going to look at in accordance to a wall. There's other things that we also pass out to ResCheck, and that's windows and doors. So when we look at a window and door and look at their properties, they also have similar information. If I scroll down again to the bottom of the properties in the Windows dialog box, it'll also have the exact same energy tab. And it's that energy tab information that again gets passed out to ResCheck. And again, we can tell it that we want to include the information or not include it. Again, that would be um, a best case scenario would be for remodels. These are new windows. This is part of the new addition. Please include it in the calculation that you're going to pass out. And then you look at the um, frame type. And there's all different types of frame types that ResCheck will recognize. So we tell you if it's metal, vinyl, wood, or metal with a thermal break. And then the glaze type. So this is single plane, double plane, triple pane, all the information about the different types that you're going to have in there. And then the U factor and the SHGC factor as well. These are the vital pieces of information that ResCheck is going to look at. So when you're looking at the manufactured information from the manufacturer about that window, this is where you directly type in that information here with the window that you're going to be using. So as you are creating the model in Envisioneer, you should be also filling in this key information with the values that are coming directly from the manufacturer. So if you're using Bob's windows and the vinyl window that you're getting from Bob has a U factor of 0.3 and an SHGC value of 0.3, fill that in. Or if it's any different values, make sure that this reflects the information that you're going to be getting from that actual item that you're going to be installing in your model. Think of your Envisioner model as the actual home the actual items that you're going to be installing in that home. And you can grab this key information from them. I'm going to hit cancel here. So windows, doors, walls are information that we grab from. We also, I'm just going to put this into a 2D floor plan view. We also grab information from the ceilings as well. So if I look at the properties of the ceilings, you'll also see that they have energy information 
attached to them as well. So I can include that in my calculations if I want to and give it an R value um, and a continuous R value. So this is the ceilings that are going to be in the attic space. So think of this as your roof attic space insulation values. So where you're going to pass out that information because it's in your attic, you would check this and give it the cavity R value for that space making sure that none of the spaces that aren't insulated don't have that and that's unchecked. So these are my ground floor location. I don't have the ceilings insulated. That would be for my second floor. My ground floor would be unchecked. My second floor would be checked and I'd give that an R value. That's also the same and I'm just going to go into an interior view here for floor surfaces. If we look at the properties of a floor surface, you can see that they also have energy information that you can attribute to them as well. Included in the calculations, give me a continuous R value or a cavity R value. And this is where you're going to be insulating the floor if that is applicable as well. So just to recap, the pieces of information that we're going to take from this BIM model from Envisioneer and pass out to ResCheck include floor, ceiling, walls, and windows and doors. All of those pieces of information, when we look at their properties, all have energy information that you can pass out. So how do we take all of this information with the model that we've drawn, the entire model, and pass that information out to ResCheck? By coming to the Tools pull-down menu and going to Analyze, you can tell that you want to do a res check export. And when you do a res check export, it's going to send that information out to res check in an area where it will recognize what's going through there. So you see I've done a couple tests here with res check. So I'm going to tell it that I'm creating a res check file and I'm going to put it into the res check XML format. In ResCheck, you can open up a file in two different ways, with an, a ResCheck XML file and just a ResCheck file. So when I save this, it's going to save it as an XML file that I'll be able to open up in ResCheck. So all I have to do is hit Save. It takes all of that information that's part of the walls, ceilings, floors, windows, and doors, and all of that energy information, all of those values, and puts it into an XML file. And then I start up ResCheck. So I'm just going to clip over here to ResCheck. And here on ResCheck, um, you can set it to whatever code you want to. So you can look up applicable codes and find the local codes that you're dealing with. I'm just going to accept the ones that are already here. And then you can tell it where you're located um, in the U.S. by state and by city. And I'm just going to expand this out. And then I'm going to come up here to File and Open. And when I hit Open, it's going to allow me to look out um, to my projects to find either an RCK file, that's a ResCheck file, or if I hit on this drop down here, my XML files from ResCheck. And that's where we'll see all of the different files that I've created so far. So you can see the different tests that I ran earlier and the file that I'm creating. So then all I have to do is select the one that I want to open and then I just click open. And when I click open, it will give me the information and tell me all the information about it. And you can see down here at the bottom, this is what we're looking for. It passes. So it takes the envelope information that we've brought out of Envisioneer, brings it in here, and tells me that it passes, and that it's actually 34.9% better than the codes that I was um, looking at. And you can see the codes of when we were first opening. So the information that it passed over is found here under this envelope information. So there's all of the various walls that were drawn. You can see that there was... Uh, 39 walls passed over, 
there was doors and windows passed over so, and they'll be placed in the walls that you see they're all numbered those numbers um, coincidentally if I go back into Envisioneer if you're wondering what num what wall is what number if you come if you have Envisioneer construction suite you'll also have wall panels and it'll create wall panel diagrams those wall panel diagrams it's creating also are the same numbers that it's passing over to um, ResCheck. So back in ResCheck, it looks at every single wall. It looks at their placement. So what's their orientation? What's the area of that wall? What's its continuous cavity, continuous or cavity R value? And that's exactly what it's grabbing off of the model in Envisioneer. And if it has a U factor set to it for the windows, of course, and the SHGC value, all of that coming directly from the Envisioneer model. When ResCheck looks at all of these values, because normally if you started out in a ResCheck new file, you would have to come through here and go from component to component to component and fill out all of the walls and their R values and keep going for every single wall that you're doing. So Envisioneer makes it that much easier by grabbing that information and sending it off to ResCheck so you don't have to hand key in all the information. That's the true power of any BIM software is being able to take information from the model to save you time in your process so that you don't have to go through and hand key in everything or repeat a process. So by taking this information out of Envisioneer and making sure your BIM model is accurate, you're saving yourself that time. So here are all of the different walls you see. And if we went to ceilings, um, we don't have any ceilings put in. So it's wondering, OK, you want to add a ceiling? What type of ceiling do you want to do? Um, but if I had sent that information over from Envisioneer, those ceilings would be in this list as well. Or if I want to add another window, I could click on window and then it would tell me, OK, tell me what kind of window you want to describe. And I've just added in that ceiling here. So I want to uh, delete that row out because I didn't actually want to add the ceiling. So as you're adding things in, it's going to go through and keep telling you all the very different types of things that you have. So as I added in that ceiling, it's saying, hey, there's no R values set to there. It's an invalid uh, assembly type and a better um, I better give it something or it's going to be determined what the percent is better than code. Okay, so a, a quick recap of everything that we talked about today. I'm going to flip back over to Envisioneer. When you're in Envisioneer and you're drawing out your floor plan, all of the various elements that you're drawing can have information that you can pass over into ResCheck. The walls, by clicking on them, we can see that they have energy information. Scroll to the bottom of their properties. The windows and doors can also have um, R values set to them. Let me just grab on a window here. I might have to. Here's a door. Grab onto their information and see their energy information. That's going to pass out as well. Ceilings are the or windows are the exact same, and ceilings. If I want to grab a ceiling and look at its properties, that ceiling, if it's sitting below an attic space that has insulation in it, you can also put that in as part of your energy information. So that will pass out to ResCheck as well. And the other is, if I go back inside, it's an easy way to grab that floor. Floors can also have uh, properties set to them for their energy information so I can put in that cavity or continuous R value. And those are values, as we saw in ResCheck, that it directly looks at. It looks at the type of wall that you're drawing, and that's when we're passing out that wall from Envisioneer. It's telling it that this is a wood framed wall 16 inches on center. It's an um, orientation in the model, it's area in the model and its R value, or if we had set a continuous R value, what that would have been. And Windows, you can see their information being passed as well. What I'd like to do now is answer any questions that you might have about the BIM model that we created and the information that is passing over here to ResCheck. 
For those that you have never used ResCheck before, I'm going to take you up to their website. And on their website, um, you can download a copy of ResCheck. So out here at www.energycodes.gov forward slash ResCheck, it gives you the information about ResCheck. And if you scroll down on that site, you can see a download. So if you want to download the Windows version or the web version, you can do that. Um, they used to have a Mac version, but it has been discontinued. So you can only download uh, a Windows version or a web-based version for now. Um, and they have discontinued it for Mac um, users, and they're advised to use the web version. So this is where you can download ResCheck. Um, it is not an Envisioneer, obviously, company. It is, um, it is a government of U.S. Um, product, and you download it from their website. We just export out information from Envisioneer that you can use in the software. So let's get to your questions that you might have about the um, BIM model passing over to ResCheck. Can you show the exportation of a foundation wall or a crawl space wall? The model I have doesn't have one, um, but if we did, um, let me just copy one wall here, um, duplicate to locations, send it down to the foundation. No, don't delete the original. This is just a quick way of getting a wall down there. And then here, I'm going to replace this wall with a concrete wall. So let me just say that it's a poured concrete wall. And with that wall, if I look at its properties, in here, this is where I have to tell it the wall type is a basement wall. The cavity R value, so let's just put that at 30, um, and that I want to include that. So that will give me a wall in the basement with a continuous R value. Make sure when you're sending down or sending out information that you change this information, basement, normal, crawl space, so that when it does go over into ResCheck, that it has the correct type of wall. And make sure that it has a cavity value set there. Because if it's set to zero, guess what's going to happen when you send it over to ResCheck? It's going to be a fail because you're sending over a wall for it to consider um, as part of its energy calculation, and you've got no R value set to it. So as an, obviously for energy information, if there's no R value, it's going to fail any test there. So I'll click OK. And then I'll come back up to Tools, Analyze. Um, res check export and we'll call this one uh, basement and hit save that was successful and I just want to double check that I saved all that information that I'm sending out and then in res check I'm gonna to go to file and open no I don't want to save my information there but I do want to look at my XML files and I'm gonna open up basement this first part of the information that it's telling me is that in Envisioneer, you can send over the project name, the address, and the city, and it will also get that information. For this file, I didn't send over that information, but this or file project manager, put that in here, and that's what's going to be sent over to ResCheck. So ResCheck will grab that information, but if you don't have it filled out, it won't take it. So what it's telling me is I can't I can't find that name or that city um, in its database, so it doesn't know what to do with it. Obviously, hashtag city, hashtag address means nothing when it has um, variables in there to recognize names and cities. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see I passed again. And my information, if I scroll down all the way to the bottom, we should find my wall that I sent from the basement. Wood frame, wood framed, wood frame, glass. My eyes are not finding it right away, but there should be a basement style of wall in here. Solid, wood framed, vinyl, wood framed, wood frame, wood frame, wood frame, wood frame. Wood frame. 
Uh, let me see if it has different locations there. I don't see it coming through. Old frames. So let me look under different wall. Oh, basement. Uh, basement wall, solid concrete. And then you just have to fill in all this information. I suppose it's not grabbing basement wind walls. No, it did before. Um, so I might not have sent that off correctly. Um, so you could type in this information to get the the basement wall in, but solid concrete. I don't see solid. Con oh, here we go. Oh, those are doors. 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 Solid. I might not have sent that out correctly because I did do a test on a, a basement wall before and it did send it through. Um, so you could fill in all this information manually through that, but it does send out all areas because I did send out a basement wall before. I'm thinking I might not have set something correctly or it's not a continuous wall, so it might not have taken it. And I think that's exactly what's happened in Envisioneer because this isn't a an exterior wall, it has left it out of the calculation. So I'm going to tell it to force one side to be exterior. Because we only look at the walls that we pass out to ResCheck, because I only have a single wall down here, it automatically um, determines it to be interior. And it has to be an exterior wall for us to recognize and send it out to ResCheck. So because that wasn't an exterior wall, that's why it didn't send it. But when it would be sent, it would come down as a basement wall, solid concrete, and it would bring over its gross area and its insulation values like the other ones would. Okay. Um, someone just told me that, uh, just an FYI, they've heard that the um, downloadable copy will also be um, discontinued in the future, that they want you to go to the web version. So right now they do have, as I'm using right now, the Windows install, but the they want to migrate everybody over to the web version. Um, so um, you'll be using that in the future. And that looks like all of our questions for today's webinar. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today to learn a little bit about the information that we can obtain from Envisioneer and send out to ResCheck, whether it's a wall, door, window, or um, door floor. Envisioneer will pass out that information. And remember, as I showed you here with this basement wall, it's the exterior shell walls that it's sending out. So if you have maybe a single wall like this, you can always still get it analyzed by making sure to set one of them to exterior so it can determine it as well. So thanks again, everyone, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's webinar, and I look forward to seeing you again next week in our next partner integration. Thanks, everyone. Have a great week. Bye-bye.